Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Troy Allen Gallat. Welcome to Trigger Time TV brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters. All right guys, in this episode, Tatiana Whitlock might hurt some feelings. She's gonna be talking about training scars. Hi folks, Tatiana Whitlock here with Trigger Time TV. We are at the Metro Firing Range in Mobile, Alabama. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about training scars. We're gonna be working with the Glock 19 MOS outfitted with a Trigicon RMR. We're gonna be working from concealment in a crossbreed Super Tuck holster. First things first, one of the most common training scars is the double tap. Now, we'll go over a bunch of them, but we'll start there. The key to acknowledge here is that there are a range of training exercises that become personal shooting habits that then become your standard response under stress. And whether or not that is appropriate is dependent upon your situation and the context of your environment. So let's explore those just a little bit. And again, we'll begin with the double tap and move on from there. So we're gonna address our target, and first things first, we're in a good stance, we're in a safe environment, we've got all the safety rules in play, and we are going to draw from concealment, present, great. Nice two double taps. Nice in line, all lethal hits, and then what are we gonna do from there? Well, you just shot twice. Fantastic, 1968 called, they want their double taps back. The goal is to make sure that you're managing your ammunition while effectively rendering the threat to you neutral. So how many times do I shoot them? As many as necessary to render them neutral. Now if you've got a limited capacity gun, you're probably gonna need to give them about 40%. If you have a high capacity gun, maybe 50%. If you're carrying an extra magazine, you know what you have to work with. The second problem that we're seeing is giving up the gun. So I've shot, now I suck the gun right back, right? How many times have we seen that? Or we shoot, we come to that low ready right away. We snap right to it. We're essentially giving up the gun. We're taking the gun out of the fight. What we have to do is shoot, follow through, reacquire that last sight picture, track our work through our sights, and then own our environment. Well, what does that look like? For many people, it's the tactical hair flip. That scan and assess is not a scan and assess. It's not even an effective after action activity. You're gonna give yourself whiplash. Make sure that when you're doing that scan and assess, your head is coming up off the gun and you're effectively looking for color, contrast, and movement. Register the things you're seeing, make that scan meaningful. Whatever position you drop to, if you're shooting for personal protection, you're actually checking to make sure Mr. Badman can't continue to hurt you down there. So now let's talk about the last one, and we'll do an administrative reload. Everybody's a ninja at three yards. We're all got that perfect boom. Shooting. You don't see your mistakes. You make that pretty grouping, that refrigerator art, but you're actually not building in the movement and distance necessary to perfect your skills. So now if your range will allow, give this a try with a straight trigger finger. You're gonna to come to a, a movement ready, movement transitional position. We'll go with transitional position here. And then what we're gonna to come to at this range, because this range will allow it under safe conditions, is to come to that high ready position. Now, if you need to anchor against your head, that's fine. I'm going to now turn. I have to see where I'm going before I just jump there. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna push off that back leg. I'm gonna to move to my next position, plant my feet, turn my body, present the pistol, settle that sight, Make it good, make it good. Straight trigger finger, let's move again. Gums to, gun comes to a controlled position, turn, brake press. Plant your feet, turn, drive the gun. Straight trigger finger, and we'll come back into concealment from here. Folks, the key is that if you're making your activities happen at the range, that you build in intention and purpose with them. You're not just going to lose habits, you're not doing a choreographed dance. You're training because you have to go somewhere or do something with the gun that's meaningful. Tatiana Whitlock with Trigger Time TV. Train in the context of your life for the fight of your life. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holster. Glock Perfection. Thank you.
Velocity Systems, Mayflower Research and Consulting, Lucid Optics, Bravo Company USA, Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, Christensen Arms, Silencer Co., Primary Weapon Systems, Law Tactical, Nemo Arms, Flint River Armory, and ammunition provided by Gorilla.